Hello, it's uh, John Gaffney from uh, Grenada, Limousin and Angus Stud, uh, the foothills of the Bunny Mountains at, uh, at Bell. Um, my uh, uh, introduction into the limos and starting off uh, uh, and starting a stud is probably a long, uh, over a long period of time, but it's uh, the last 10 years we've been focused really mainly on the stud. But at the moment we've uh, We've sort of, I'm the fifth generation on this property and, uh, and uh, we've been breeding stud, stud animals right from uh, day dot when uh, my first ancestors came out from Scotland. So we uh, registered the stud in 2006, but uh, just before that we actually um, were fairly involved in the carcass competitions, uh, prime cattle, and then later on in the lead steer competitions. Well, while I was contract mustering, Years ago, I used to come across a lot of uh, limo cross cattle, and uh, in lure of payment, I used to uh, see if I could get a few steers off certain people. And uh, Brian Webster from Kamaruka was one, and a few people like that. And we actually ended up uh, showing those steers and had a uh, probably nearly instantaneous results. The uh, Granita herd is um, comprised of a, roughly about 120 limo cows and uh, and we're slowly building on our Angus herd where we've, we've built that up we've probably got about 50 to 60 Angus cows now that uh, we hope to get up uh, probably in the 80s for the Angus cows and, and sit around that 120 and 30 for the, the limo cows so um, at, the, at the moment we've sort of uh, just probably working more probably in the future will be a lot more AI uh, and uh, one, uh, our one of our boys comes home, we'll probably get, uh, venture into a bit of uh, ET work. But so, at the moment, uh, as I said, we're just trying to, to focus on just getting the, the, the right amount of bulls and, and bulls that are quiet and docile, get out and work. Um, I'm a great believer in our bulls, they're, that uh, they're fed on a pasture paddock uh, for about 300 odd acres. and. They learn to walk over sticks and logs and they learn to fight and carry on and be in a, a contemporary group the whole time. They're fed no grain, they're all given uh, uh, silage uh, before they go on the oats to prepare them uh, and if they're supplemented with any uh, silage that if we need to, to, to depending on the season. But uh, usually at the moment the oats gets them up there and uh, they've been going out and, and you know, we've been giving good, really good results with the bulls getting out. The motility scores are really high. From our uh, clients are reporting back to us that uh, they're really happy with the, the way the bulls are getting out working and uh, they're not sitting around waiting for a feed. So um, that's pleasing to us and, and we, we hope to uh, keep going that way and, and that's why I think we get the, the repeat clients. Um, we, we had a really good success in our 2016 sale. It was um, something uh, out of the blocks really to, bro to break the Australian limousine on property record uh, with uh, you know eight thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars for forty bulls, which was a uh, hundred percent clearance. We thought that was pretty awesome. And this year's bull sale will consist of around the fifty bulls again, um, which with which will have at least uh, forty limos and ten Angus fellows in there. Yeah. We're an open door set up here where. Um, Anyone wants to come and visit, look at our bulls, check out anything, over a cup of tea, coffee, whatever, 